So how long have you been coaching? I have been coaching uh, since season seven. Jeez. Yeah, I've been coaching for a little over half of Apex. Kind of crazy, to be honest. We're going to start off by seeing what mistakes we're making, if any. Okay. Yo, what's going on, everybody? District here, and today's video is going to be something kind of similar to one of the recent videos we did where I'm going to be casually explaining what I'm seeing and why I'm doing what I'm doing within these sessions. And as always, if you're looking to book a session, save 20% off by booking with a partner, and the link will always be in the description down below. Now, starting off, watch how I position myself to fight individuals. Even though there's two people in front of me, watch how I position myself on these boxes so that I can fight one person at once. Right here, I heard somebody move far okay. over to the left side, which means that whoever right here is in front of me, this Mirage, is all by himself for this split moment. Coming right now, okay. I'm not able to get this knock. I hear the octane stimming up. I know that I'm not going to be able to take this 1v2 face to face. So I'm going to focus on creating space and backing up. Now with this open space, if they try to push up, they're going to get caught in the open right here. Create some more space. If they try to push up again, they're going to get caught back up in the open. That's going to be an opportunity for me to deal damage. Yep. Now what you'll notice a lot with higher end players like myself or any other professional is that we always holster our gun when we're ready to move forward or backwards. This is going to allow us to slide forward a lot easier and faster. Right here we're going to implement a wall jump. That's just going to make us hard to hit as All we right. cross through the open. So first off, just a little bit more, a little more comms between y'all. I see that LP got his mic muted. Yep. So. <laughs> But uh, but overall, right? Like being simply being able to be like, oh, I hit him for, for this much. Like, can you like yeah. hold me or can you push up? Right? Like those are always going to be really good comms, just so that your teammate knows what you need them to be doing. On top gotcha. of that, making sure that we're making we're playing our life. Right here, be, be careful. Watch that door. Yeah. And this fight right here, I can clearly see that the Octane is much closer than his other teammate. So in this situation, I'm just looking to see if I can get an opportunity to fight that player. Obviously, it didn't work out. Back up. Careful, watch it. Watch it, watch it. Right here, I can hear an Octane behind me, and I know that the Mirage is far in front of me. He's pushing on me. So I can confidently take this 1v1. Ooh. Quick little reset. And remember, it's important to understand that trading off damage is very important. You're going to be trading off damage. You just need to understand when to cut your losses. In that situation right there, it was an easy 1v1, so I took that opportunity as opposed to taking 1v2s. Mm. I got you. Play my shield. Play my shield. Yep. Watching me. That place low. Woo! I sent you flying. <laughs> Bro, how did you get up there? What? <laughs> did it send you over the rail? <laughs> that was wild. All right, so... made like sent him straight upward. <laughs> yeah, I was like, turned the corner and he was gone. I was so confused. All right, so right there, right? Like it's cool that you wanted to get up behind the person that you're fighting, right? But yeah. you went too far right you exposed yeah. yourself too much you were too extended you put yourself in a situation where your teammate was too far to the point where if i chose to push him you would be too far if i chose to push you he would be too far right so you gotcha. gotta you gotta either let you know the person you're fighting commit to finding one person before you get behind or you you know you put you you tickle him from the back gotcha but right there, because you were so split, I was able to just turn on you. Yeah, able to catalyze on me. Yeah. yeah. 18 perp. Okay. Right. Just like this first round that we ended up playing at the beginning of the video, notice how I position myself on these walls to around. only be looking at one person at the same time. Right? I'll, I'll juggle between me. left and right angles. That way I'm cutting off the line of sight of one of the other players, just like right here, right? Be able to doink this person, switch back. That grenade is going to hold that other player back. Now I can push this person who I broke with the Mozambique. Stay close to cover. See who's pushing right. And right there, because I saw that green trail coming from the left to the right, I know that I have to look at that. So it was huge that you recognized that I was, you know, nading one person and trying to push the other. It was huge mm -hmm. that you you started to push up and try and help out teammate, right? The issues start to come when 
you're pushing up too hard. You see right there, right? You pushed up and we call that like we call what you did over committing because once you got gotcha. to me, once you got to me, you never went back into cover, right? You pushed out, you were yeah. in the open and you were stuck there and because you didn't have health, you didn't have health to play fuck, with. My bad. Yeah, excuse me. You didn't have health to play with. You didn't have health to lose. And that ended up forcing you to instantly basically just go down because you know what guns on what guns I'm using. You know that I'm yeah. I, I was playing a little bit closer range that you know those rounds so you shouldn't be trying to get right up on top of me when you have no health play from your cover peak do damage peak do damage push up off that damage right holster your gun slide out as opposed to run into the open and now you're stuck there in the open right if, if you guys notice when i peek you guys i'm not peeking out in the open for long periods of time i might peek for half second quarter second go back into cover i change my angle i'm always keeping you on your toes i'm always forcing you to kind of be moving around trying to distinguish where i'm coming from got you just leaving that that questionable thought so that i'm not really peeking the same angle yeah Round one. Fight. All right. in this game right here it's really important 12, that we focus 24. on not rushing the things that we're doing you'll notice even though i get some breaks um i don't ape in because there's no clear opportunity to really be pushing up like right here, I get a really good break, but if I push up, his teammate's gonna hold me as I cut through the open. So instead, I'm gonna reposition, take an angle they may not be expecting, and this is gonna offer a, a possibility to either push that player back, or to get some more damage in, or to simply just hold and reposition and try something new. Right here, can't really push up because there's no awesome cover to use in that situation. I'm gonna be pushing up straight through the open into their cover which is a, a risk for me. So again, I'm just kind of playing slow. And by the way, this is where these high damage games come from, yep. where you're able to constantly be putting in damage like this. As opposed to holding one spot only. Yep. So right here, I thought that guy dropped off. He actually climbed back up. He's going to drop back down right here. And notice how I come to the left side of the box to avoid the right guy if he comes back up. Quickly go back into cover, then re-peek. See right there, right? I'm jiggling between covers. I'm constantly moving around. You're constantly having to see where I'm going to, right? I'm, I'm playing a little slow, getting damage, pushing up off that damage, right? Moving into cover, holding my cover for a split moment, re-peaking, putting pressure on you, going back in, holding cover, re-peaking, putting pressure on you, as opposed to just constantly either sitting behind cover and not doing anything or constantly standing in the open right and letting you walk all over me all right going in this game we make sure that we're starting our fights with a little bit of space between us and the enemy team that way if they break us we have space between us to use as cover and so we can easily back up right here we got that break so we're going to take the opportunity to quickly push up avoid angles from that far right person i hear he gets the bat off so i'm going to take the opportunity to back up create space if they drop into the open or create a, an open angle then i can abuse them for doing that right here i'm going to reposition quickly gun down to move faster see if i can get any damage in so i could possibly push up and then here i'm just going to be balancing these guys back and forth for the next bit i can't obviously push through the open because there's no clear cover for me and they have high ground just going to easily hold this open area and then if i have to take a couple steps to the right like this you see and it instantly puts me back into cover and i'm constantly moving around not standing still 22 blue 14. notice here i start backing up as they start getting closer i rotate around this rock for cover i, I use my environment as cover Now I'm starting to hear footsteps in my right audio. Push right. Pull that player back. Oh, we ain't off that, I'm gonna quickly push up. Secure that kill. Yeah. That last one, you guys were getting a little bit better right there with with how you were pushing up, right? You weren't pushing so hard into the open. You were making sure you were playing with a little bit of space and with a little bit of with cover between everyone. Mm -hmm. That's what we'd like to see. The issue just came right. down to when you when you guys are trying to commit to that to that final push, that push that's going to kill, 
right? You're you're not doing a swift push, right? You're doing a really open, hard, committed push through the open, as opposed to, you know, kind of like how you notice with me, right? I'm I'm doing really quick peaks. I kind of I kind of edge my way towards you, and then I commit to a really quick push, and then I'm on top of you, as opposed to kind of like wiggling through the open, walking up to you. That's not a push, right? Gotcha. Right, in this fight right here, I was late to getting the zone and they were actually holding me out. Now, they did a good job at holding me because if I tried to push through the open, I would have got seriously punished. So because of this, I'm going to do my best to use some form of cover, even if it means I'm pressed right up against the zone. That's better than being stuck right in the open. So from here, I'm just going to balance this. I'm going to play this slow, look for an opportunity to easily push up. Now right here, because they aren't putting so much pressure, they're kind of letting me live. Versus if they were continuously shooting, continuously looking to get angles on me, this would have been a lot more difficult. And this is one of the main things that I try and teach when I'm doing these you know, coaching sessions in, in arenas or like these 1v1 type sessions is the less pressure you put on people, the easier it is that you make it for them to do what they want. Because they're not really putting any pressure on me, I'm soon going to be able to just walk through the open for free. You notice, right, it's only one person really shooting at me, that slap guy. The guy on the far right isn't really doing anything. And because they stopped looking at me, I got to walk up for free. And again, it all comes down to looking for that opportunity and then quickly taking it as they give it to you. Good damage. Time to start getting closer. Coming up. The right guy's going to be out of the fight for a few seconds as he tries to heal. He's going to be out of the fight now. Now I'm going to bang water for free. Yep, crack out of here. And Damn. Oh, you yeah, in yeah. Storm? That was on me. Yeah. yeah storm just wrapped me as soon as I was trying to finish the bat. I was like, ah. Yeah, overall in that last one, right? Once you realize, mm -hmm. like, oh, he's pushing forward, right? Start pushing up hard. Take advantage okay. of that high ground that you guys are controlling, right? Because you guys basically just, yeah, like, like, like maybe you you don't realize that I'm pushing up when I do, but once you realize where mm -hmm. I am, right? Push up, get aggressive, get on top of where I am, right? Look down mm -hmm. on me and punish me for being on that low ground, right? Like that should have been like um, a losing situation for me because you guys had me held out so well. Right, but once gotcha. you let me cross up, right, you didn't you didn't continue to hold me, and that just let me get away with anything that I wanted. Hey guys, District here. And if you're watching this far, then you clearly want to get better at Apex Legends, and I applaud you. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and because of that, I'm going to be giving away three free one-hour sessions at a total value of $150 for this upcoming Christmas. You may or may not know this, but not only am I a freelance coach, but I also coach through a couple different platforms one being Medify. And this is where I'm going to be doing all these free sessions through. To be eligible to join this giveaway, you only need to follow these couple of steps. First, is subscribe here on YouTube and like this video. Next, is just follow me on all of my social medias, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And last but not least, join me on Discord, because that's where I'm going to be announcing the winner. My Discord server is full of awesome stuff too. It's not just a community, but it's got a whole bunch of free material like Apex recoil patterns and ways to play different legends, all at your disposal for free. Not only am I giving away three free coaching sessions, but I'm also going to be giving away a custom build controller from Cinch Gaming and two Elgato capture cards to help you make better content. Now let's get back into the video. All right, guys, one of the main things that helped me get better as I want to improve in Apex Legends when I was playing ranked top 20 pred was how to watch other people like, analyze their gameplay and try and break down what I thought they were trying to do and why they wouldn't do what I would normally do. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to encourage you to do the exact same. I'm not going to commentate anymore. I'm going to have you watch what I'm doing and try and understand why I do what I do. All right. On backside. My shields need a bit more power. I'm watching for you. Play tight, play tight, play tight, play tight. Yep. I'm cracking a bill, so. Yep. Watch climb up. 
Max out. I'm up. It's on you. 42. Right here. Yep. He's out. Deal. Max out. I don't have any more heals. See right there? I wait, who's who's playing bang? LP? Yeah. Right, yeah, LP, you see it right there, right? When like like you had me like I was on a head glitch, I'm holding you in that situation. Right? But instead of you focusing on playing from cover, you jump off of, you know, a, a, a very powerful spot. You drop to low ground, I accidentally fall down. And then you commit to fighting in the open where there's no cover for you. You didn't push to run into my cover, and then we both play off of the same thing at the same time, or you didn't focus on backing up right away and getting out of the open. And because of that, I took advantage really casually of you sitting in the open, right? So it's important that you make sure that you're constantly playing off of cover. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm just like... Watch middle. Oh, I hate fucking. <laughs> I hate that. I gotta move shit. you over cover somehow. <laughs> 36. 36 blue. Right, right. Up. 14. Come on back. Cracked him. Pushing up. Move to next cover. Right here. He's peeking. Right here. Yes, sir. Push him up. Push him up. Crack him again. Push. Shields need a bit more power. Left. Shields need a bit more power. Ah! Yeah, you see, you, you kind of walked that over. Yeah. You didn't slide and commit to it. So I heard you stepping up. I, I got the chance to cancel. And then because you're just waddling around, I can just quickly peek over the corner and shoot you. Overcommitted to that. Whoa. Shields up, shields up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate this fucking door shit! See how much harder it is to react to something happening as opposed to doing it yourself? Yeah. Right, so that's what you should have done that last round when you were trying to push me. Commit to that push. Yeah, I tried to commit when I cracked you down that door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, and you can, you know, and depending on what legend you're playing, you can do the same thing with other legends, right? If you're playing Fuse, you can knuckle cluster the door and back away from it. Mm -hmm. Keep that guy from pushing forward. Your caustic put a trap on the door keeps them from opening it right like no matter who you're playing there's there's something that you can do in substitution if you're playing octane stim create extra distance all right but you guys starting to get a feel right like the yeah. slower you play the easier it is for a decent player to take advantage of what you're doing 
right? Okay. The more aggressive that you play, you know, the, the faster I need to react to everything, the harder it is for me to balance what is happening, right? Like if both of you guys push from different directions, but you do it really fast, right? I might kill one of you, but the other guy, because you guys are going at the same speed, you're both moving fast, it's going to be hard to get that last guy off of me. As opposed to if you both go really slow, I'm going to 1v1 one guy, and then I'm going to go 1v1 the other guy. Right? So gotcha. when you play together, you got to make sure that you're playing fast and aggressive. Okay. Right? But the way that I got better was I watched people who were way better than me, and instead of just watching their stream and enjoying their videos, I, like, analyzed their, their games and analyzed how they're playing. And then I would compare it to my gameplay and be like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Like, like, gotcha. I'm just like, like, even like, even like hold yourself to like a high standard, like fade, right? Who's just got insane movement. Be like, oh, I see how he's using a wall bounce. I see that he's only using it in this situation. I see how he's doing this and doing that. Right. And then you try to replicate that. Obviously, you're not going to do it. Right. But you can, you can get close to it. Got you kind of like add an ad to your... Your, I, your IQ and your arsenal. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? You just add it to your arsenal, things that you can do. Yep, coming up. That was on me up, y'all fell down. Okay. Ah. Yeah. You didn't expect me to get there? That was on me. I fell. I fell off the ledge trying to wall bounce to the other side. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's that's what that's what I did to LP. <laughs> I just wall bounced off of the ledge right there. Damn. I was like, oh man, I need to get to the other side. Let me, let me just wall bounce. No, that would have that would have been that would have been a good play. That would have been a good play if it worked. Sometimes sometimes you just you know you, you flop. I am on top. Fourteen. Watch for the push. My side. Yep. Climbing. Right He's gotta push in. Yeah. What if I'm already behind you? Nah, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm on you this time. <laughs> yeah, this, this might be the one I lose. For a quick second though, I definitely was like, should I turn around? He's like, it's not. <laughs> no, because it's not. It's not. <laughs> yep, good. It. It's cracked. Ah! No! Play shield, play shield. Yep. You see, that loss came from the lack of pressure, right? Yeah. You guys overextend into the open, and I just keep pressing myself up against the wall, commit to getting an angle on you and getting in damage, and then I focus on quickly backing up and getting into cover. Okay. You notice that, right? Yeah. It's, I, I definitely see it. All right. And when when you go back and like like I'll send you guys like the VOD, you guys can go back and rewatch like how I play against you, and you can be like, ah, oh, I see what he means when he's saying that he's constantly playing cover and he's like constantly putting pressure, and I see how he means like when we're when he says that we're not putting pressure. Oh shit! Try to change the angles on you. Yeah, push, push, push. I understand he's got a battle. Right there in front of you. Not the P20! Oh, I just know right here. 57. 
strike. Yeah, I got a heal. I got a heal. Yeah, I'm good. He's coming. Yes, what's up? Need a bit more power. I'm watching for you. Not the wing, man. Ah. He's on this side, OP. Yep. He's on top. <laughs> All right, you see right there, right? Um, you are you are basically right on top of me, right? Like you're pressed right up against that rock, very close to me. But you're not putting pressure on me. You're staying in your cover, right? You're getting close, but you're not you're not looking to get up on me, right? And that gives me the option to get up on you and back up. Oh shit. So it's really important that in those types of situations, when you're getting close, right, feel comfortable. You're, you are taking a 2v1, right? Feel comfortable to push up and do damage. As opposed to holding where you, excuse me, as opposed to holding where you are and, and playing slow. Right here, watch. Got it. That enemy shield is first. Go. Good for cover. Gathering material. There you go. There you go. Even though both of you guys were right up on top of me, I was still able to play aggressive, right? And use that cover and work around you guys. Right? That's how you have to be trying to play against me. You gotta be trying to play aggressive close to me. Quit snitching on me. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> What?